Welcome guys to my video page on YouTube. My name is Alekuni Abidemi. Now today I'll be showing you how to guest packet using Akikad as a modeling software. Akikad is a modeling software that you can use to model just anything, ranging from architectural drawings to any drawings you think you want to model, depending on how good you are. For the purpose of this project, we'll be using architecture of the modeling just a simple bedroom. Now, I installed architecture on the system. So, what I do to get started is just to go to the icon on my desktop. As you can see, I have a drawing on my desktop already, which I modeled in architecture and I render with the third party software. I'll be talking about the third party software in another, in another tutorial. So for this tutorial, let's run open Akikad. You can right click and go to open or you can double click on it. Now, once you've opened your Akikad, you'll be faced with some dialog box from which you select some particular settings. You can get started with the project. Now let's read the bit. Now, what I have here is Akikad project recovery. From this dialog box, you can see we have some projects already. As soon as I want to recover some of these projects, I can easily click on them and it will be shown to me. But now, what we are doing is we are starting from scratch. So, we are not opening a ready made project. So, what I do is I click on the close button and I go to the next interface. Now in this tutorial, you'll be able to learn how you can easily draw a simple building without putting the roof, just the walls, the windows, the floor, and probably some other elements. Now, what I'm going to do, the first thing I do while I'm using Akikad is just to set my story building. My story. What do I mean by stories? Assuming you're going to have just a bungalow. That means you won't be needing the two story that is there as a default. You delete that. You won't be needing the first story that is there as a default. So you need to delete that. So you are left with whole story only. And from this you can set by going to by right clicking and go to story settings. You put it to 3150. This setting is just for the building height. It's going to be 3000 and 150 for the floor slab. So you click OK. Now, you can start your project. How do we start? On my left hand side is my toolbox from which I have the design, the document, and more. From design, I have my wall, my door, my window, my skylight, my roof, and so on. And from my document, I have dimension, level, text, and so on. Now, from my more, I have camera, figure, hotspot, and so on and so forth. Now the other interface, from file you can see new, open, I believe you are not new to this kind of interface. You have edit, view, design, document, and so on. If there is a need for me to explain some of this interface, I will take us through in another tutorial. Now, let's get started by drawing a simple line to represent the 2D of our bedroom. So the pressure we are going to be drawing is 3600 by 3600. So you click a line on any point. You type 3600, double click. You can zoom, zoom properly so that you can see what you drew. Click on the line. Then how do you offset an archicad? Is what sh you should be asking me by now. Now what to do is you right click, you go to move, drag a copy. And you come down a bit and you type the offset dimension which is 55 for the block wall so you enter now the next thing you do is you control D control or you right click you go to move a copy drag the copy sorry then you can move down a bit and type 3600 for the breadth of the bedroom now the next thing is to 
respect the other word, which is 25 again. So drag a copy, type the dimension 25, and you click enter. Now let's draw the other side of the wall. Pick a line, drop it there, pick the line again, drag a copy, press 2 to 5, and that's what you have. I'll leave you following me. Now the next thing you do, pick a line again, drag a copy as you did in the other ones, type 2 to 5, and that's what you have. That's just for the, the bedroom. Now, the next thing you do is just to fine tune the line you've drawn. So what you do is you click on the line, you select the node, then click on stretch to either elongate the line or reduce the length of the line. So what I've done is I try to reduce the length of the line. The other tools that is going to be useful for me, which is the intersect tool, to make sure my lines are intersecting. So you click the two lines. By pressing on shift to click the second line, you click on intersect. You do the same, click the first line, press on shift, to click the second line, then you intersect. You click the first line, press on shift for the second line, then you intersect. You click the first line, press on shift, shift for the second line, then you intersect. Now, last for our building wall. Now let's try and draw our door space which is going to be neon drip. so that is it you discover that the line is in, is in grouped form so how do you ungroup it I love using the keyboard menu so much so what do you use you just type ctrl shift G you hold your control you hold your shift and you press G so what you have is you ungroup the line you can delete the line to don't you now see what I have now. Now from there, you already have a space showing the door. Now let's have a kind of a little veranda, like 1,200 there. 1,200. Now, there's nothing I want us to know. Whenever you join in Akikad, you need to press on Shift to make your line so straight. So type 1,200 now. Come to this other side, drop the line. Come to this line. Drop the line again, control shift G to ungroup the line by just straight. You click this point, you leave it. That's the veranda now. Now, I really want to have a toilet. You click on this other line. Let's say our toilet is 1500 feet. Press 1500, then 3600. Sorry, this is 1000. 1,500 by 1,800. So the length of the toilet is 1,800. No. Draw another line to show the wall. 2 to 5. That's what you have. So you can control shift G of this. Control D, control. Take it 2 to 5. Right click. Sorry. Everything is the because it's a good line, so you have to unroot it. You click on this again, you intersect. 2 to 5, click on this, this line, you intersect. Now, that's for our toilet. So you want to show where your windows will be. And decide to draw a line at that point, <coughs> just like a if you're drawing in AutoCAD. So, Ctrl D, Ctrl. Assuming our window is going to be 1200 feet, so we can offset 600 to this other side, then drag it down again and type 1200. So, that is for your window. Instead of drawing it again, you can copy this by right clicking, go to move, drag a copy. You move it to the other end. You have the second window. Now, that's for the window over there. So let's draw the window for the toilet. So 600. And enter. Now, 
to be able to draw the lines we need for our one bedroom project. So the next thing you do is you go to your slab, which you can see under your design. You go to slab, you double click on it. Now, this is the dialog box you face with. Click OK. Go to the settings here on your page, leave it to, to be zero. And at the top, type 150. Because the height of our slab is going to be 150 above the natural ground level. So, you have three options of how you can draw your slab. Is it you use this first geometric method which can give you a slab which you can trace the lines out because you are not having a regular shape like a regular rectangle or a regular square. For the other one, if I'm using the other one, you see what I can draw. Can you see that? We are not using that, so we'll be using this first one. So you click on the first point, the other point, this point, this point this point, sorry, this point, this point, and this is, we've been able to draw our flag. If you press on shift, and your space bar, and you select, you'll be able to see your flag. That was the setting. Now the next thing we do is to go to our wall. Double click on your wall. Now, the first thing I'll be talking about on the wall is this. To project from zero, we now do the offset from your floor slab. You know our floor slab is 150 height. Now, to project from zero will now be set to one. So you type 150. This is the column for the thickness of the wall, which is five. For this other wall, if you select this, it means you're drawing wall that has angles. So we are drawing the straight wall. So you click on this to fit this. I hope you understand. If there is any other question, you can forward it. Now, you can change the material of the wall. Most of the time, I love using page 14. You can decide to use any one. And if you unlock this, you'll be able to select the material one by one, as you can see now. If you, if you lock it, all the material is the same. If you unlock it, you can change the material. Now, let's go to draw our wall. Select the first point. With a continuous wall all through. We discovered that I made a mistake there. So let's try and draw it again. This is what you have. Taking the lines out regularly. In order to avoid making mistakes, try and press shift. To make the line straight. Now, we've been able to draw a wall around the lines. Let's try and see what we have. You go to more and you click. You go to more and you click on camera. So you stand on any point so you can see what you have. Click on the camera and then you press F3. And this is what we have just see. Go back to F2. That's all we've been able to draw so far. So, in the next part of the project, you can decide to add, add windows and doors and every other thing needed. So, stay tuned.